I'm here at RAF Biggin Hill, one of the most famous airfields of the Second World War. Biggin on the bump, as it was known, became synonymous with the Battle of Britain, the aerial campaign that thwarted Hitler's attempts at invasion back in the summer of 1940. The pilots that took off from this runway faced overwhelming odds, but in overcoming them, they wrote themselves into the history books. Coming up, I discover how radar helped Britain win the Battle of Britain. I get up close and personal with some aviation icons, and I find out just how powerful the guns on a Spitfire and Hurricane really were. Two on threshold QFE 978. We're on runway 03. The geography here at Biggin Hill ensured the creation of an airfield back in 1917 towards the end of the First World War. And its unique characteristics have meant that nearly a century later, it's still a very busy place. Two, three. Back is correct. Next report ready to taxi. Bob, very nice to see you, sir. Hello. Admiring an airfield that you have studied for years. Yes, I have. So tell us, why was Big and Hill founded here? It started life as a wireless testing station, and they came across this field here, 80 acres, absolutely massive. It was 650 feet above sea level, but it was the perfect place. And they perfected communication between aircraft in flight and the ground through this amazing new technology. Hence, Big and on the Bump. It's Big and on the Bump, an upturned saucepan. But as they came into land, there was a little hill, and they used to stick their noses in the air over the other side, and it became known as the Bump. And I guess its role in the First World War really was the kind of precursor to the Second World War, when Biggin Hill really does earn its wings, as it were. Well, it soon became a senior sector airfield. It uh, became the most famous fighter station, not only in, in the country, but in the world. More than 1,400 enemy aircraft shot down. There was a ring of fighter stations around London, but this was the strongest link defending the southern approaches. In the late 1920s and early 1930s, Biggin Hill was given a much needed revamp, the provision of new hangars and these E-pens to protect aircraft and their ground crews against the possibility of air attack. And all of that, of course, was just as well, because the clouds were gathering over Europe as war loomed on the horizon. <laughs> 